Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Topic Shuttle Lever 1.2. If a dog is a man's best friend, then a tire lever would be the equivalent for a cyclist. Every cyclist at some point needs to remove a tire to replace it or repair a flat and will need a tire lever to accomplish that job. The Topic Shuttle Lever 1.2 that we have here today has been part of Topic's lineup for almost a decade now, with little or no change that's been popular and very effective. You can see you have a very simple packaging design with the levers attached by a zip tie, which we've already removed, to a simple cardboard backing. You have a clever graphic on here, which is a tire wheel, and the yellow lever hooked onto a spoke, and the other one removing the tire. Basic specs are printed here, as well as some information on the rear. We'll go ahead and remove this and go over the specs. Retail price on this is only $9.95, so very affordable. It's constructed of engineering grade plastic. It does not have a metal core, like some of the higher end ones might have and a very compact form factor, so you can see very thin and elongated profile. You have an integrated spoke holder, as indicated by the graphic. There's a little hook here on the yellow one that'll go right over a spoke. You have a Schrader air valve release, so this little protrusion here can be pushed down onto a Schrader valve to release air. And otherwise, very simple clip-on design that holds the two together. You have a sculpted body for both of them as well, so you can see your thumb rest in this nice little divot so very ergonomic. As far as what comes with it, obviously you get the two tire levers and they simply lock into place. Now let's take a look at the weight of the shuttle lever 1.2. The two levers together come in at 45 grams. The Topeak shuttle lever 1.2 is Topeak's larger size two-piece tire lever. It consists of two parts. You have the smaller yellow lever on the inside and then this longer black one it's just under six inches total length, so it is a fairly long, but thinner, and you can see fairly compact as they sit flush inside each other. Topic also has the Shuttle Lever 1.1, which essentially consists of two of the smaller yellow ones, which are more compact and can fit in smaller saddle bags. It's a pretty sleek design though. You can see minimal branding, Topic on there. Some printed lever shuttle, same thing on the black one, and you can see this cool metallic Topic logo on the inside. What's great about these levers is they have this ergonomic design, so it's longer, with this little indentation exactly where your thumb would go on both of them, so very easy to use. The idea with the two lever setup is that you use the yellow one to first set up, so you put it underneath, lock it against a spoke using this little hook on here, and then take the longer black one and work the tire around to have it come off the rim. So it's a great setup and a lot less frustrating than using a single one. The other cool feature about this is you can see the little protrusion here. So this is great for a Schrader valve. You can push that down on there and release some pressure. Otherwise, just simple plastic construction. This doesn't have a metal core like some of the higher end tire levers have, which means these can snap if you're trying to use them on a very stiff tire. But for a majority of tires on the market, this should be more than enough. It's only if you have the classic Kevlar bead style tires or maybe more off-road ones where you might want the metal one. Otherwise you have this nice smooth profile on the tip and you can see it contours in and it's designed to really get under the tire to pull it off. So it's pretty important to have that thin but not so thin that it would snap off and you see both of them are pretty well designed. Now let's take a look at the levers in action. Here we have it on our American Classic tires. And as you can see, we have the yellow one secured against the spoke. And then we're using the black lever to try to get underneath the bead. As you can see, it has a fairly narrow width, especially on the lever portion. But once you get underneath there, on easier tires, you can see you can get around, but it requires a fair amount of force and it can fly off. So you do have to be careful. You can see on more stubborn tires, like these Continental tires, you can still get them underneath the bead fairly well, but the problem is when you try to get around the rim. Because they're rounded and a little bit more narrow, I found that they tend to fly off, so you have to be really careful, otherwise you will hit your hands on the spoke. So you have to put the leverage in the right spot, and as you can see here, with the more stubborn tires, they might just fly off. That's why I'd recommend probably using a wider lever like the Pedro tires, that will show in a second here. As you can see here, the Pedro tires are quite a bit wider. Instead of slimming down at the tips, they're the same width almost all the way through, and you can see here, once you get underneath the bead initially, then you can position them a little bit wider, push both down at the same time, just like you do with the other levers. But because they're wider and not rounded, you get a lot more force and they won't fly off. So you can see here, you can really push through it. So I would recommend using other levers for more stubborn tires.
Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Topeak Shuttle Lever 1.2. What we like about it is you have a thin form factor. Both levers fit together pretty well. It also has a light but durable plastic construction with an ergonomic shape that's easy to hold as you have divots that are really well placed. The main negatives for the levers are the fact they may not fit smaller bags as it's about 5.9 inches long. And also with the thin rounded lever shape, it might be difficult to use on stubborn tires and get it underneath a bead. Taking everything into account would give the levers an 8.6 out of 10. These are compact and ergonomic tire levers. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.